As you relax, you find yourself growing lighter and lighter. The surroundings appear to fade and you are wrapped in the warm dark cloak of your own energy and mind. It is safe, warm, and comfortable. In your mind's eye, you begin to see soft light and slowly the view opens. You are standing at the edge of a crystalline pool of water. The sky above is blue and there is a soft haze on the distant horizon. Above you, the sun and the moon can be seen together in the sky. You are not sure if it is dusk or dawn but you know it is one of those powerful between times, a time in which there is a thinning of the veils between the physical and the spiritual. To your right at the end of the pool is a waterfall. The spray from it is cool and misty, and where it touches the pool, water ripples outward, distorting all reflections. It gives the area a surreal appearance. You look about you at the green grasses and the distant trees, and all is silent. It is as if nature is in a state of quiet anticipation. You look back to the waterfall, and you notice a dark area behind it. You move toward it, and as you stand close to the waterfall, you see a cave half concealed behind it. You step carefully behind the waters and into the muted darkness of the inner cave. You are surprised, for it is illuminated with soft torches. The light given off from them give the open chamber a warmth. Somehow, it looks familiar, and you feel as if you were expected. To the back of that chamber is a tunnel that is also lit with torches. You glance over your shoulder to the area beyond the waterfall and then walk further into the cave. It is as warm and comfortable as it first appeared and as you step further toward that back tunnel you feel a slight giddiness and a soft childlike laugh pops out. For the first time in a long time you feel like a child about to open and explore wondrous treasures of the world. You step from the chamber onto the path of the tunnel and begin to follow it slowly. It is well lit and you are not at all uncomfortable. You reach out and touch the walls with your hands. You are surprised at their warmth. It is as if you could feel the lifeblood of the earth itself flowing through its walls. As you move further along, the tunnel widens and grows taller. The torches are fewer and more distant, but you notice that it seems to be getting lighter still. You pass a couple of torches that are not even lit. You stop and touch them to confirm they have not recently gone out, and then as you look ahead, you see the reason. The tunnel has widened so greatly that the sun is able to penetrate almost 50 yards back. You can see beyond the end of the tunnel. There is a distant river and lush green grass. The sunlight sparkles off of it as it would the morning dew on a summer's day. The sunlight sparkles off of it as it would the morning dew on a summer's day. Across the field is the edge of a rich, deep green forest. You pause only a moment, and then you run the last 50 yards and burst from the tunnel into the warm sunlight of this beautiful meadow. The sun is warm upon your face, and the grass soft beneath your feet. Your nose is teased with the fragrance of honey and spring wildflowers. The air is sweet, and you tilt your head back and stretch your arms wide. You spin and swirl and laugh at the beauty and lightness of this meadow. Next to the river is a large ancient oak tree. Surrounding it is the greenest, most lush grass you have ever seen. 
You run to it and sit down beneath it. You stretch out and roll in its softness. You inhale its sweetness. Then you sit up. Next to the tree is a stone shaped as if carved into a chair. You sit down upon it and as you do you find that it fits your form perfectly. It makes you giggle with wonder. You breathe deeply and from this chair you look about you. It is quiet and peaceful and you know that this meadow is a place where wildlife must surely come. And for a moment you envy the animals and the birds for having such a place of beauty. You sit upon the stone chair and you enjoy the beauty of nature. It is as if with each breath you become more and more a part of it and it becomes more and more a part of you. Then suddenly your breath catches. You see a movement out of the corner of your eye at the edge of the forest. You hold your breath. Maybe you will get to see some wildlife. Then from among the trees comes movement. It may soar above you or it may step out into the meadow. You sit still watching as an animal appears in your vision. Don't force it. Allow it to show itself to you. And as it does, its eyes seek you out and hold your gaze. Never have you seen anything so wonderful, so unique. Such animals have always seemed so wild and out of touch. There is no fear as it moves closer, only recognition and wonder. Surely this must be a dream. Then, as if in response to your thoughts, it makes a sound, a movement, a gesture, and you fix your eyes upon it. In that moment, you begin to understand. You catch glimpses of memories of how it may have helped you in the past. You now know why you have always been fascinated with it. And then it begins to move toward that tunnel. It pauses and turns back to look at you as if telling you it's time to go on. You stand and begin to follow it. As you approach the mouth of the tunnel, it waits. It is so close with a few steps you could touch it. Carefully, gently, you extend your hand out to it. But before your hand gets close enough to actually touch it, it jumps and is heading back to the edge of the forest. It pauses, looking back at you once more, and then disappears into the green. You understand it will take time to develop a relationship. There is much you have to learn from each other. Until then, you must be patient. You smile a sweet sadness and then move back into the tunnel, following it back to the waterfall. As you step from the cave and behind the waterfall, you look into the crystal pool. You see your reflection rippling, and then behind your reflection, you see the form of your animal totem. You catch your breath and you laugh, thanking it for opening up to you. As you do, its image disappears, and the scene around you begins to fade. You are again in the warm darkness of your own mind. The image of your totem is strong within you as you breathe deeply and allow yourself to come back to your surroundings.